So, Marie, welcome back to the show. Hello. So, last time you were on, we've just said you've got eight children. Yeah. £26,000 a year in benefits. You haven't worked in how many years? 14? Uh, 14 years, yeah. 14 years. Yeah. So, and now your benefits are going to be cut they are. by £6,000. Yep. So what impact is that on your life? How I think your life? the best impact is me going back to work, doing the 16 hours, which I have now done. So I am gaining from 26 originally under the cap claiming income support to going into work 16 hours and now on £30,000 a year. Now, has that happened because of the cut? Because mm. after you came on the show, it was, a, it was a big, big backlash, wasn't there? Yes. Lots of people going to yeah. these. So what, what's made the change? What's made you get up? I think it's more so for the children themselves. Um, kept saying, Mum, go to work. Um, going into college, another environment, obviously there's a lot of children in college and there's a lot of adults going back into that, sorting out childcare and obviously getting your feet, your, your foot back in the door, really. So car mechanics is my aim. Because there's, there's a minimum amount of hours that you've got to do because mm. you claim work... Is it working tax Working tax credit and child tax credit and child benefits, so a lot. There is a lot. So you can claim another working yeah. tax uh, credit as well. Yeah. But you've got to do, is it 16, 16 hours? 16 yeah. hours a week. Is that any, any work or just...? Any work, 16 hours, as long as you're within the 16 hours, you're fine. You haven't got any more of his really. And what happens if you go beyond that? Beyond that, then you're not entitled to work in tax credit. Mm. Um, so you've got eight children. I have, yeah. Now, anyone with children will know that it's difficult juggling it work and kids. So, And your, your eight range from how old? Uh, the oldest is soon to be 15, the youngest is three. Yeah. So it's very hard to get into the whole childcare, the, the organising in the morning, ready for school, then me going out to work. So how have you done it? I don't know. I think it's um, to improve my own lifestyle. Obviously, I am gaining a lot more. Um, and to, yeah. it's it's more about pride as well. Yes. But to be fair, mil millions of parents out there are probably looking at this. Well, w they all do it as well. Yeah. They, what I makes that so become, special? You do become a mother. So from the age of 19, I had my first child, continued, continued, in and out of work, n not settled, had more children. Got myself into the situation of, OK, let me go back to college. Went back to college. I want more, I want more. So 16 hours work, then I wanted more. Passed the level one diploma. Now doing the level two diploma in car mechanics, so I want to set my own business. But, but you know, also having eight kids is a, is, is a personal choice, it is. isn't it, really? It's, it it was is. your, your personal choice. Yeah. But then that leads you into other difficulties as well, because you have eight, eight kids. And I suppose the, the eldest is, what, 13? But she's soon to be 15. So babysitting yeah. is still quite, you know, an issue yeah. and, and everything else. But... Mm. Interesting. I, well, I want to find out about this. You've, you keep, you've mentioned that you want to go and retrain as a, a car mechanic. Yeah. Just after not working for 14 years, having eight children, just how difficult was it to get out there and get back into work? Very, very nerve-wracking. Because you get yourself in the situation of... That's the thing. They, they say they're there to help the job centre, but they're not, not lone parents. They give the advice of, here's an email address, contact them. There's CV help as well, obviously help with your CVs, things like that. But if you've never been in work, mm. how is an employer going to rely on you to be there, you know? And, and now, that, what are you doing at the moment? What's the 16 hours you're working uh, in? Carer. Carer, yes. Yeah. But that's not your passion. You've actually got no. something that you really want to do. Car Ta mechanics. You want to be a car mechanic. car mechanics, yeah. Is that something you've always wanted to do? Yes, from the age of 14. And, you, and how do the kids feel about this? Because it's a total change in attitude to when you were last time. How, how do the kids feel about it? They're happy for me. They are very, very happy. But they, some, I mean, going back into the work environment, Mum, we miss you. This is what I've got to do. They've only ever known me at home, you know. So at the moment you're doing the 16 hours so that you can still claim all the benefits around that. What, I mean, has this opened a whole new world for you? I mean, you talk, you're talking about wanting to retrain yeah. as a car mechanic, which, by the way, I think is brilliant. Thank you. Because not only do you want a career, you're actually going to re-educate yourself. Yeah. So well done for you for that. Um, but what's the, what's the plan then? Are you going to go back to work full time? Or what, what do you want I'll to do? I'll stick with the 16 hours, build myself up to get my van and then maybe build myself up to get to level three diploma in car mechanics and then just set myself up a little business, work for the females. And what about people who might be watching? Because last time you came on, you know, the, the backlash was... you were you, And, you know, you came on and you were quite happy about the mm. fact that you were claiming benefits and people might have described you as a, a scrounger with eight children, yeah. getting 26 grand for doing nothing, you know, not working and had no desire to work. If anyone's watching who might be in a similar situation, what would you say? I would say just put your foot in the door gradually. And the thing is, you, people complain to say that I was under the cap welfare queen claiming benefits, sitting around doing nothing. But just think, I'm now in work, still getting hired, doing 16 hours and claiming, still claiming benefits, you know? So no matter what you're doing, you're still claiming benefits. Now, just one, one more final question. Did the, did the cap in benefits, redu reduction from 26 to 20,000, mm. did that force you into work or did that, was that a lifestyle change for you? That, I that think you lifestyle had to make, change. Had to make that decision? Definitely, yeah. 
to know that you're going to be hit and hit and hit constantly with the benefit cap, so it's best to just get out while you can now before they continue, you know? Yeah. Well, best yeah. of luck with yes. everything Thank in the future you. as well. Marie, well done. Thank um, you. And, you know, I'm impressed that you're going to get back out there, so good on you. And come well, back we'll and tell us. We do need mechanics, yeah. We exactly. do need mechanics, more right. female mechanics. <laughs>